everyone, this is Tolly Anderson here at the Sunscreen Film Festival West here in Hermosa Beach where nearly 50 films will come together and view their work visually. And I'll be tagging along all weekend to be your tour guide. For the next three days in Hermosa Beach we have the Sunscreen Film Festival West. It's the fifth year that this festival's been going on and it's the sister festival to the Sunscreen Festival in Florida. Over the next three days, um, about a thousand come in and out. We have uh, people coming from all over the world to see their films. South Bay residents are always interested in what is going on in this community. So much that a local resident, Robert Enriquez, now known as the West Coast Director, is to thank for bringing this festival out here. Robert, uh, you know, more than five years ago now, basically said, hey, I want to talk to you about the idea of starting a, a film festival in Hermosa Beach. And, you know, after talking for an hour or so, it was kind of like, you know, why have you reinvent the wheel and do a new nonprofit and do all this stuff? We already have this organization. It's already a nonprofit. Do a version on the West Coast. The, the name fits, you know, for, for both areas. Now that Robert has held this festival in South Bay for five years, I asked what the journey has been like. It's been a lot of hard work, but at the same time, to me, it's very inspiring. Doing this each year, I get this injection from all these young filmmakers who are really excited and come up to me and, hey, Mr. Enriquez, you know, we flew in from Czechoslovakia or from Colombia or from Georgia or just from wherever, from all these places, and are just thrilled to get their work on the big screen. Young filmmakers throughout the three-day event not only get to view their work on the big screen, meet other inspiring film creators, and I got a chance to chat with a few of the volunteers to hear what their experience has been like. It's so great to see so many people that are passionate about it at the same time, and I get to meet all different people in the industry, so it's really great for connections and networks and things like that. We've just kind of been setting stuff up, you know, basic tasks to help out all we can, meet as many directors as possible. Some of us can be like assistants and a lot of us do like just kind of busy work to keep everything going. If anybody's needed, we're just like right there to do it. It's such a wonderful film festival to see how it, it has grown as well and to be able to be part of that journey is just incredible. And to see everyone who's attended multiple years like I have and now to be on panels and to have our movie, it's, it really is a dream come true to be here. To me, that's amazing. It's in my backyard. I get to work in an area that I care about the most. If I did it somewhere else, I wouldn't have the same passion. All of my friends live here, and all my friends get to see this and participate in this, and it really means a lot to me because it's people I know that live here and stuff can come and do something that we'd otherwise have to drive to Hollywood for. So it's really great that, that Robert has started this festival in the South Bay. There are a lot of talented people down here that work in the, in the film industry, and uh, they should be recognized. You know, that whole local tie-in is really a great thing that Robert's doing with trying to bring in more local films and really tie the local community together more. I, I love this film festival and I like to support it and I thought what well, if I can create a film that could even represent Hermosa at the Sunscreen Film Festival in Hermosa. So I wanted all the people from Hermosa that were involved to be able to come and see it and be part of it and also to see how cool Hermosa is. And local kids as well and local businesses and local parents, you know, everyone's involved. I would, would like the attendees just to have fun watching independent films and really support them and walk away being inspired to make their own independent films if they're filmmakers or screenwriters and also to just walk away and enjoy the celebration of independent film in the South Bay because we don't have enough festivals in the South Bay, we don't have enough support for artists in the South Bay and I think that's really important. This year I'm happy to tell you about Gentleman's Fury, which is a movie about tennis. It's a comedy. Ben Sharpels has a really interesting angle on tennis and he filmed locally, Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach. So people around here will see locations they recognize. Oh! My whole life is ruined! Aaron, you're scaring me. Oh really? Am I scaring you? Am I scaring you? It's like such a crazy, pleasant surprise. As I was t talking to Robert about, uh, we didn't even know we didn't even think this was going to happen, getting it shown on the big screen, because we did a SAG after a new media contract just for an online release. And so we didn't even have that in our mind that it was going to be uh, shown on a big screen at a festival. So just the fact that it's here alone is an honor. Welcome back to the third and final day of the Sunscreen Film Festival West here in Hermosa Beach, where today is all about the award ceremony. Awards were given out to Best Actor, Best Feature, Best Director to name a few, but many filmmakers walked away smiling at this award ceremony. One thing to take away from this event is whether you won an award or not, it 
It's safe to say filmmakers of all ages explained in their words how to get started and to get your film on the big screen. Go out, pursue your dreams, don't be afraid to create. Creating is the best we need creators in the world. I just follow your passion, like make a movie for what you want to make it for, not for what's cool or what's selling. Like find your voice and stick to your, to your gut and make the stories that you want to tell. Don't ever take no for an answer and never give up. And that concludes the three-day event here at Sunscreen Film Festival West in Hermosa Beach. As the awards ceremony has just come to an end, one of the awards best actor was given to a Manhattan Beach local for Gentleman's Fury. Reporting for Interloper TV, I'm Tolly Anderson.